Realization of Truth An excerpt from Enlightenment, the Ultimate in Healing Jiddu Krishnamurti is unique in his responses. Very humorously, he responds to the questions from the seekers. Someone asked the question, Who am I? Humorously, Krishnamurti answers, Is it important who am I or is it important who you are? It is not at all important to know who am I. Instead, it is important to know who you are. For that matter, he was quite humorous in his responses to the questions from the seekers. Someone once asked Jiddu Krishnamurti a question. Can we realize on the spot the truth you are speaking of without any previous preparation? Can we realize on the spot the truth that you are speaking of without any previous preparation? Krishnamurti responded, What do you mean by truth? Do not let us use a word of which we do not know the meaning. We can use a simpler word, a more direct word. Can you understand? Can you comprehend a problem directly? That is what is implied, is it not? Can you understand what is immediately now? In understanding what is, you will understand the significance of truth. But to say that one must understand truth has very little meaning. Can you understand a problem directly, fully and be free of it? That is what is implied in the question, is it not? Can you understand a crisis, a challenge immediately? See its whole significance and be free of it? What you understand leaves no mark. Therefore, understanding of truth is the liberator. Can you be liberated now from a problem, from a challenge? Life is, is it not? A series of challenges and responses. And if your response to a challenge is conditioned, limited, incomplete, then that challenge leaves its mark, its residue, which is further strengthened by another new challenge. So there is a constant residual memory, accumulations, scars. And with all these scars, you try to meet the new and therefore you will never meet the new. Look at the individual life. How many scars, how many residual memories of the past relations, past events one carries with him? Now with all these scars, you try to meet the new and therefore you never meet the new. You had problems in your love life. You are carrying the residual memories and scars. And then suddenly one day you meet another person and new. You will never meet the new. Therefore you never understand that there is never liberation from any challenge. The problem, the question is whether I can understand a challenge completely, directly, sense all its implications, all its perfume, its depth, its beauty and its ugliness and so be free of it. A challenge is always new, is it not? The problem is always, a challenge is always new, is it not? The problem is always new, is it not? A problem which you had yesterday, for example, has undergone such modifications 
that when you meet it today, it is always new. Without transforming, merely modifying your own thoughts. Let me put it in a different way. I met you yesterday. In the meantime, you have changed. You have undergone a modification, but I still have yesterday's picture of you. This is what happens in relationship. The man or the woman may have changed, but you have his image of yesterday. I meet you today with my picture of you. Although you are not the same what you used to be yesterday, I understand only the picture of you which I acquired yesterday, that I knew you yesterday. If I want to understand you who are modified, changed, I must remove and I must be free of the picture, the image of yesterday that I had been carrying within me. In other words, to understand a challenge which is always new, I must also meet it anew. There must be no residue of yesterday. So I must say adieu to yesterday. This is what happens in life whenever we meet. We have problems with one person in our love life, so we abandon. Tomorrow we meet the person or sometime after we meet the same person again. Maybe that person has undergone change. But you will not be able to see that change in that person. Because you are living in the past, you are carrying an image of him or her which is of yesterday. This is the way life goes on. And in other words, to understand a challenge which is always new, I must also meet it anew. There must be no residue of yesterday, so I must say adieu to yesterday, to the past. After all, what is life? Something new all the time happening? Is it not so? It is something which is never... Life is something which is always undergoing change, creating a new feeling, Today is never same as yesterday and that is the beauty of life. Can you and I meet every problem anew? Can you when you go home meet your wife or husband and your child anew? Meet the challenge anew. You will not be able to do it if you are burdened with the memories of yesterday. And this is what happens always to the people. We are burdened with the memories of the past, memories of yesterday. So we cannot meet the new challenges. After you left home, your spouse might have thought over the brawl that you had in the morning. She would have thought to herself that when you come, she will apologize to you and reconcile. But whole day you have been nourishing those memories, the residual memories. And when you reach home, she is ready to welcome you. Your spouse is ready to welcome you anew, but you are not ready. Therefore, to understand the truth of a problem, of a relationship, you must come to it afresh and new with an open mind. For that has no meaning. You must come to it without the scars of yesterday's memories, which means as each challenge arises, be aware of all the responses of yesterday. And by being aware of yesterday's residues, memories, you will find that they drop away without the struggle and therefore your mind is fresh. 
you are ready to enter afresh into the new challenge. Can one realize truth immediately without preparation? I say yes. Not out of some fancy of mine, not out of some illusion, but psychologically experiment with it and you will see. Take a challenge, any small incident. Do not wait for great crisis and see how you respond to it. Be aware of it, of your responses, of your intentions, of your attitudes and you will understand them. You will understand your background. I assure you, you can do it immediately if you drive your whole. I can assure you, you can do it immediately if you give your whole attention to it. If you are seeking the full meaning of your background, it yields its significance and then you discover it in one stroke of truth, the understanding of the problem. Understanding comes into being from the now, the present, which is always timeless. Though it may be tomorrow, it is still now merely to postpone, preparing to receive that which is tomorrow, is to prevent yourself from understanding what is now. Surely you can understand directly what is now. To understand what is, you have to be undisturbed, undistracted. You have to give your mind and heart to it must be your sole interest at that moment completely. Then what it gives you is its full depth, its full meaning and thereby you are free of that problem. If you want to know truth, the psychological significance of property for instance, if you really want to understand this directly now, how do you approach it? Surely you must feel akin to the problem. You must not be afraid of it. You must not have any greed and any answer between yourself and the problem. Only when you are directly in relation with the problem, you will find the answer. If you introduce an answer, if you judge, have a psychological disinclination, then you will postpone, you will prepare to understand tomorrow what can only be understood in now. Therefore, you will never understand. To perceive truth needs no preparation. Preparation implies time and time is not the means of understanding truth. Time is continuity and truth is timeless, non-continuous. Understanding is non-continuous. It is from moment to moment. It is non-residual. You may think I am making it all sound very difficult. I am not. But it is easy, simple to understand. If you will only experiment with it, if you go off into a dream, meditate over it, it becomes very difficult. When there is no barrier between you and me, I understand you. If I am open to you, I understand you directly and to be open is not a matter of time. You can be open now, this very moment. Will time make me open? Will preparation, system, discipline make me open to you? No. What will make me open to you is my intention to understand you. This is what happens between the two spouses. The moment you are open, try to understand. You have no residual memories. You have no image of the past. Then. 
you have intention to understand. I want to be open because I have nothing to hide. I am not afraid. Therefore, I am open. And there is immediate communion. There is truth. To receive truth, to know its beauty, to know its joy, there must be instant receptivity, unclouded by theories, fears, answers, residual memories, past images, past impressions and all the things that come within that periphery. This is the essence of maintaining a healthy way of communion between the friends, spouse and in day-to-day -day life as you come across traversing through life's roads. And unless you are free of these past residual memories, you cannot live in the moment and your journey of transcendence will not continue. Your journey of transcendence will not continue.